We are back with Joanne Chang from the wildly popular and very delicious bakery, Flower. And we have a very special treat here, which is that Joanne, one of the masters, is showing us how to make the perfect pie crust. Yes. So Joanne, walk us through the steps of this. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make the flakiest, most tender pie crust possible. So I have flour and a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt in here, and then I have cubes of cold butter. And you can see I'm kind of- Oh, oh is that what's yes, in there? That's lumpy. what this is. I was gonna is. tell you, exactly. you're, it's very lumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should work on Yeah, that. so I'm <laughs> smearing the butter into the flour. And, and then you're just kind of with the sugar and the salt, you're just- Exactly, uh, just, just mixing it up. Okay. Yeah, and I'm trying to coat some of the flour with the butter. Now here I have some milk and egg. Egg. You can use heavy cream, you can use water. Um, I like using milk and egg because it's uh, got a lot of flavor and a lot of richness. And then I'm going to mix this. And You're just going right out with your hands Yeah. There. I mean, it's a little bit messy, but it really, really makes a why difference. Why do you want the butter to be lumpy like that? Let me show you. Because oh. the reason why I want it to be lumpy is I actually want to combine the butter into this dough in a technique that's called frissage. And what that means is you can see all these lumps of butter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna take the heel of my hand and I'm actually gonna smear the dough like Whoa. this and the butter is gonna get smeared into the dough in long sheets. And that's how you get those flakes that are in a pie dough. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so it's a little messy, but this trick will transform your pie dough. So you do that a couple of times, just bring it over and then smear. It's actually a lot of fun. <laughs> It really is. Get the kids involved. I know. If you guys had aprons on, I'd have you do this too, so you can see. <laughs> How but you're going to get the crust to a pie. Oh my gosh! It's everything, right? I think it's everything. Yes, everything. You don't want to bite into a pie and get like leather yeah. or something that's really hard. Mm -hmm. So at this point, you're going to wrap this up in some plastic and let it sit. It's a little too hard to work with now, but I do have. How a long do you swap let that out. sit? Would you say? At least for an hour. Out in room temp. Uh, no, in the fridge. Oh, in the fridge. In the fridge. Okay. So I have some dough that I made earlier. Um, and then once it's set, you can see it's it's a lot easier to work with. Mm -hmm. so, so what are you doing there? You're just sprinkling some more flour yeah, on there? Yeah, I'm going to add some more flour and then just roll this out. So once it's chilled for about an hour at least, or you can make this ahead of time and store it in the freezer for maybe you know up to a month or store it in the fridge for up to a week. And then I'm just going to roll this out. And then once you've rolled it out, you can put it in your disposable pie tin, or if you have a, a ceramic pie tin or a glass pie tin, and then you can just... Is there any uh, anything about the thickness or how thin you want it, or just... Usually about a quarter of an inch, okay. yeah. Quarter of an inch, break out the ruler, Meryl. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. And so then what we do is we actually take this, chill it again, because okay. we've just worked it. For about how long? In For at least, uh, I would say about half an hour. Uh, half, half an, an hour, hour at in least. The fridge? Yep, in the fridge. Or again, you could do this ahead of time for up to a couple of days. And then when you bake it, you're going to bake it and it's going to be like wow. nice and golden brown. And I'm actually going to sacrifice this pie crust to show you how flaky it is. I'm going to tear it in half. And can oh, you see wow. the wow. flakes? Yeah, and talk about crimping the edges. What you did there when you when you put it in you the see all those pie tank. Look at wow. all those layers. Yeah, so all those layers are from all of that. Wow. So this Beautiful. is actually a very simple, it wasn't even a crimp. We just cleaned up. I took this and mm -hmm. then I cleaned it up Wow. like this. Oh, so you just cut it? Yeah, I just cut it just like that. And then chill mm. it and then bake it and then we fill it. So we have pumpkin pie, pecan pie, we make wow. apple pies. I know those aren't your favorite. Yeah, apple pie I think is overrated. I'm a pecan and pumpkin kind of guy. Oh, I do too. I'm with you, Joanne. So when you, you bake in the crust before you put the filling in? or you're saying, Yeah, so oh, we really? par bake the crust. It's called blind baking. Okay. You bake it like this. You actually fill it with um, a piece of parchment and then you can put some baking beans or some rice or some rocks and that's how you par bake it so that it's baked through. Mm. Then you fill it. That way you get a crust that's well baked. Otherwise, if I were to pour pumpkin pie filling into this, then by the time it bakes, the, the crust isn't baked, and then it would right. be kind of soggy. That's what you're doing wrong. That, I there mean, you that, go. that would be one it's of the One of the things. Just, <laughs> one of them. What else do you think makes a good pie? I think making sure that you have the freshest filling ingredients. You said you don't like apple pie, but yeah. I think if you get the right apples, yeah. a mix of tart and sweet and soft and crisp, I think you would be an apple pie lover. I'm sure you could convert yeah. me. Your yeah. pie could She doesn't do anything that's bad. No, it's so delicious. <laughs> Joanne Chang from Flower Bakery. Thank you so much. These are so, I've never even heard of half these tips before. I'm so excited for you to try this. That's why <laughs> she is the master. We'll be right back with more. Oh, first I want to talk, we want to answer the megaphone. What's your favorite type of pie? The results are in. Um, they are... Apple. Apple. Aha! Uh -huh. Apple. <laughs> apple pie. Is the yep. king of the yep. Thanksgiving apple. pies. Let's be Joanne honest. and I agree. We'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, look who came on over.
over now that the pie yeah. has been now served. Look at that. He's already eating it before we even start. <laughs> so uh, busy time for you right now, I imagine. So busy. We're making thousands of pies. Thousands oh, of pies. And your gosh. most popular pie right now, probably pumpkin or apple. Definitely pumpkin. Pumpkin. Mm. Um, I think apple is probably second. Mm. We also have a new pie this year called the Piefecta. It's pecan and pumpkin and then brown sugar whipped cream on top. Wow. Stop. All in one pie. Oh. This is the best pecan pie it's so I've good. ever tried. Thank you. That it really is, is. Unbelievable. And again, I think pecan. That's <laughs> the best pie on it. It is too. really, I mean, really good. And pecan. There you go. Apple for the win. Yeah, apple is good too, but this is yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, so you have a busy week, so no no rest for you. No rest this week, but I'll definitely rest on Thanksgiving. Yeah, go yeah. to flower. This is unbelievable. Thanks for watching, everybody. Mm. Have a great day. Mm.